St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell filed a motion today to overturn the murder conviction of Marcellus Williams. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Mike Bush. Williams was sentenced to death for the 1998 murder of a former St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter, Felicia Gale, in her University City home. Five on your side's Laura Barcheski has been looking into the filing, and she's live tonight outside Bell's office. Laura. Mike and Kelly, while St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell was not available for an interview today, court documents from his office explain several reasons why they think Williams might actually be innocent. University City Police say on August 11th, 1998, Dr. Daniel Pikus came home and found his wife, Felicia Gale, stabbed to death in the hallway with one of their kitchen knives still lodged in her neck. Areas of the house were a mess, her purse was missing, and a laptop had been stolen. Felicia, known as Leisha, was a former reporter for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Her brutal murder shook the whole neighborhood. It made us very uneasy for a long time, and it was just not even the fear so much as the fact that um, we just wanted justice to be done. Marcellus Williams was convicted of her murder in 2001, accused of stabbing her 43 times. There was no reason for this crime. It was extremely brutal and vicious, and that's why he deserves the death penalty, and I believe that's why he is going to get the death penalty. He did, in fact, receive the death penalty and was just hours from being executed in 2017 when then-Governor Eric Greitens granted a stay of execution. You know, he has um, steadfastly, uh, you know, uh, stuck to his innocence. Um, and, you know, interestingly enough, I've asked him about getting the execution date and what that felt like, you know, and he would always say, you know, these things are in God's hands. He's a very faithful person. Michelle Smith, an advocate fighting the death penalty, says Williams became a Muslim in prison, taking on the Muslim name Khalifa. She says he pursued every legal avenue to overturn his conviction and with the help of the Midwest Innocence Project and a new 2021 law that allows prosecuting attorneys to file a motion to vacate a conviction, he has a chance. So we definitely have hope that, um, you know, Khalifa will be home, you know, I'm hoping this year. In court documents, St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell says two big reasons they believe Williams is innocent are DNA evidence on the knife that was never heard in court was examined and is not a match to Williams, and informants in the case were unreliable. Um, Khalifa's case, there were um, witnesses who, uh, what, what we call informants and people who, um, ultimately were not telling the truth, but got some kind of benefit from that. I spoke with one of Gail's family members this afternoon who declined to comment and asked that the public respect their family's privacy during this difficult time. I also talked with some of her former colleagues at the Post-Dispatch who tell me she was a very kind person who was passionate about social justice. Reporting live in Clayton, Laura Barcheski, Five on Your Side.